My name is Imano Adeyemi Adebayo. I'm a visual artist. I practice with found objects and things I find around me. And I just try and, as much as possible to reflect every single thing that just happens around me from what we really are as humans into our physical and um, material world. So I just tend to like um, interchange those two ideas and just bring them together. I titled the series I'm working on as a man in time. All the kind of personality you can think of in man, I break it down into different kind of figures. That's why you can find like um, most of my figures are like divided in the chest. So you have one part as your good and the other side to just balance it up. So a lot of people just try to just make that mistake of I'm, I'm a good person, so I don't have any bad aspect of me, but that's just like a lie we just tell ourselves. So me creating man in time is just bringing you to that full consciousness of what you are. Every single emotion you emit, I try to just replicate that with like symbols in my works. I grew up in my grandparents' house, so they always give us that liberty to just like do all sorts. Like, you know, our grandparents can all be all loving and caring to their grandchildren. So we always like mess up the walls. I draw almost all day and no one to challenge me. I was just happy doing that. So I just knew at that point and that this was my thing. And for the fact that I had, I have a father that is also an artist. So being a teenager, rather than me spending time with my friends outside, playing football and all, I just watch him paint or just watch him doing his things. I don't, I don't really ask much question. And I'm just the kind of person that just observe fully and just grasp it for what it is. So I started off with some frames. I'll go about picking up different frames from like pictures and more of like scraps, basically. So I just go scrap hunting and I bring them down to my studio. This was while I was still like practicing and I was still schooling in you know, like So I was just doing my thing and trying to just get better in this, this particular thing I just wanted to just be doing. And for me to just have that realization that, that, that um, this is just what I should focus my, my whole life on. So I slipped out of school, like I didn't tell my friends. I had to just drop out and continue with this same thing I've been doing. And it's, it's what has just been giving me the more of like my maximum joy. So it's almost like there's no other thing I could be doing than this. So I'm just excited that, man, this is it. And this is what my whole life revolves on. And this is what I should be doing to just make people realize who they are. The turning point in my career was, that's when I really knew I was a true professional in this and I didn't realize that before. But ever since people started like um paying for my works. <laughs> like I wasn't even doing it to get paid in the first place. Like I was just like, <laughs> let me just do this thing for my own fulfillment. Like I have something in my head. I'm not I'm not I'm not that kind of person I like to sketch. I like to just approach my idea like starting from my raw materials and bring it up. So I, I wasn't so sure how people could like um, connect to my kind of works in the first place. So that was like a big turning point for me. My greatest artistic influence is everything. Just by me just going to just go withdraw money in the morning, I walk around the street and something just crosses my mind. Like I see a picture, I could just see some kids playing or, or some men or, or bike riders or some sort of like that. I, it could just be like colors on their shirt that just strike something in my head. So I can't really place where it's coming from, but it's more of like me just absorbing nature. My key technique is just me cutting things, dicing things into pieces and just making them a whole back. So <laughs> however way I can make it all back is what I don't know. So, but most of the time for me, ideas come with his materials, his own special technique. You get like what I was doing last year was way different from what I'm doing here now. What I was doing two years ago was just way different from what I'm doing now. So it's more of like, it's very fluid. Two, three years ago, my entire artistic practice was all about recycling. I just sat down and realized that the only thing that everyone is just having an issue with is just trust. We just embracing our fellow ones. That is what brought about like my recent, um, it's still in man in time, but it's more of like a sub um, series. It's called Unison. So Unison is more of like you, like an agreement with one another. I'm not adding like more figures into my, into my, like um, my subjects. The two figures in each of the pieces are like um, clustered up together in different kind of ways. I don't want to speak about them until you see them in the exhibition ground. So my favorite one is um, two. It was more of like a challenge and I surpassed the challenge. So that's why I think it's my favorite. The most challenging part about creating my works is when I have to deal with the chemicals, the adhesives. Most of the time I work in an airtight space. That doesn't permit me to use anything that's kind of like harmful to my lungs. 
So I try as much as possible to just break down how I work. Like I work 10 minutes, 15 minutes, I take a break for like 20 minutes to just absorb fresh air, go back inside and keep up with the same process. And I have to use fire at the end of the whole process too to just give it an even feeling. And so those are quite toxic to the lungs. So the relaxing part of when it's done is the easiest part. I hope viewers like um, try to connect with their own conscious self by the time they set their eyes on my work. It should make you reminisce on yourself. Like think about where you've been coming from, where you're heading to, and see how things just change. See how time is not permanent. In my career, the most important lesson I've learned is consistency. Like I don't know everything about myself. I don't even know what I'll be creating the next year. But I know my consistency, I will grow into it.